Now this is the best, strongest, fastest leveling build for the sorcerer in season 4. With this build I did focus on leveling from level 40 to 70 or until you get to world tier 3 because that's when you should have majority of your skill points and have some decent gear and legendary aspects. But I do have a different video for a build for the sorcerer for leveling from 1 to 40 where you don't need any specific gear or legendary aspects. Now for this build the main skill I'm using is charge bolts to easily destroy huge groups of enemies and shred bosses. And with this build you don't really need to do any tampering or use a lot of legendary aspects for this build to work. This build is so strong that I was able to easily get to world tier 4 at level 48. Now the primary focus of this build is doing hell tides but I have another section in this video making some adjustments to easily destroy the capstone dungeon boss to get to world tier 4. So let's check this out. Okay, so first I'm going to show you some gameplay destroying enemies in Helltide. Now, Helltide is the best and fastest way for leveling with any character. This Charge Bolts build is so strong that you don't really need to do any tampering, and you only need two legendary aspects to make this build stronger. This build does focus on doing huge AoE damage so you can easily clear groups of enemies in Helltide. And with this build, you'll be able to easily level up really quickly, and this build has really good survivability. Now, I was able to get to World Tier 4 at level 48, but I did make some adjustments with with this build to focus more on single target damage to easily destroy the capstone dungeon boss to get to world tier 4 but i'll go over everything in more details in their dedicated sections Okay, so next for the skills. Now the basic skill I'm using is Spark, but I'm only going to use this skill if I run out of mana. The main skill I'm going to use is my core skill, Charge Bolts, but this skill will increase your critical strike chance. And since this is a shock skill, it will also pair with your ultimate skill. The next skill I'm using is Charge Bolts, and this is our main damage dealing skill that will destroy huge groups of enemies and bosses. The next skill I'm using is Ice Armor, and this is a really strong barrier skill that will protect you from damage. The next skill I'm using is Lightning Spear, and this skill will conjure a spear of lightning that that will stun and apply vulnerable to enemies and the next skill i'm using is the ultimate skill unstable currents and whenever you cast a shock skill it will cast additional random shock skills and this skill will completely melt huge groups of enemies and bosses and the last skill i'm using is teleport and this is the best and fastest movement skill in the game and you can break out of crowd control when using this skill Okay, so next for the enchantments. Now the first enchantment I'm using is the fireball enchantment. And whenever you kill an enemy, they'll explode in a fireball, doing huge AoE damage and burning enemies. And this enchantment is really good to destroy huge groups of enemies. And you have skills that will greatly increase your damage when you do damage to burning enemies. The next enchantment I'm using is the ice blades enchantment. And this enchantment will spawn ice blades for every 40 seconds in cooldown you spend. And because majority of our skills are cooldown skills, you can have multiple ice blades on the field at once. And ice blades does cold damage and whenever your ice place hits a vulnerable enemy it'll reduce the cooldowns of your skills now i do want to mention that if you're fighting a single boss like the capstone dungeon boss then you want to switch out the fireball enchantment for the hydra enchantment because in order to do burning damage with the fireball enchantment you do have to kill an enemy so using the hydra enchantment will be a lot better to use when fighting the capstone dungeon boss to get to world tier 4 but i'll share how to easily destroy the capstone dungeon boss to get to world tier 4 on another section in this video Okay, so next let's check out the skill tree. Now, I do want to mention that this skill tree layout is mainly used for doing hell tides, so you can easily destroy groups of enemies and level up really quickly. But I'll have a different skill tree layout when you're fighting the capstone dungeon boss to get to world tier 4 on another section in this video. So starting with the basic skills, I put one point into spark, a point into enhanced spark, and a point into glinting spark. And we're only going to use the basic skill if we run out of mana. But if you do use this skill, it will increase your critical strike chance. Next for the core skills, I put five points into charge charge bolts, a point into enhanced charge bolts, and a point into destructive charge bolts. And this is our main damage dealing skill that will destroy huge groups of enemies and shred bosses. Next I put 5 points into fireball, a point into enhanced fireball, and a point into destructive fireball. And this skill is just used for the fireball enchantment, which will destroy huge groups of enemies and can also apply burning damage to enemies. Next I put 1 point into devastation, and 3 points into elemental dominance. And this will greatly increase our damage to our core skills. Next for the defensive skills, I put 1 point into teleport, a point into enhanced teleport and a point into shimmering teleport and this is the best and fastest movement skill in the game which can also break crowd control effects next i put one point into ice armor a point into enhanced ice armor and a point into shimmering ice armor and this is one of the best barriers in the game to protect you from damage next i put one point into elemental entombment and this will give you a chance to reset one of your defensive skills and then i put three points into glass cannon and this will greatly increase your damage but in return you will take more damage next for the conjuration skills i put one point into ice blades a point into enhanced ice 
ice blades and a pointed to summon ice blades and this skill is just used for the ice blades enchantment and ice blades will do cool damage and reduce your cooldowns when they hit a vulnerable enemy next i put one point into lightning spear a point into enhanced lightning spear and a point into invoked lightning spear and this is a really useful skill that will stun and apply vulnerable to enemies next i put three points into conjuration mastery and this will increase your damage your movement speed and your mana regeneration for each active conjuration and this skill is really useful because we will have the ice blades conjuration and the lightning spear conjuration next i put one point into align the elements three points into mana shield and two points into protection and these skills are really good for defense and survivability next for the mastery skills i put one point into inner flames and three points into devouring blaze and this will greatly increase our critical strike damage against burning enemies next for the ultimate skills i put one point into unstable currents a point into prime unstable currents and a point into supreme unstable currents and this is a really powerful ultimate skill that will allow you to cast additional shock skills whenever you use a shock skill and this ultimate skill will destroy huge groups of enemies and melt bosses next i put one point into coursing currents and this will continually raise our critical strike chance until we get a critical strike and then i put three points into fiery surge and this will greatly increase your mana regeneration when you kill a burning enemy and last but not least for the key passive i put one point into virus mastery and this will increase your shock skills damage to close to enemies and enemies will deal less damage to you and critical strikes will increase this bonus by 20 to 25 percent okay so that's the full skill tree layout for this build and like i mentioned before this skill tree layout is more used for hell tides to destroy huge groups of enemies i will have a separate skill tree layout to easily handle the capstone dungeon boss to get to world tier 4 in another section of this video and i will have the full build layout in a d4 build planner in the description below okay so next for the gear now i do want to mention that since you're still leveling it's better to focus on higher item power level compared to the stats on the gear because when leveling you will always find better gear so for example this gear has a plus green number so it's a lot better to use this gear than the one i have equipped now of course once you get to world tier 4 and start getting ancestral level gear and if the plus green number is just a couple digits higher then it's better to focus on your stats now the great thing about this build is that you don't really need to tamper any gear or use any legendary aspects for this build to work but there are two legendary aspects that will make this build a lot stronger the first legendary aspect you want to use is the piercing static legendary aspect and this states charge bolts pierce to deal 54 percent less damage to targets hit after the first this will allow your charge bolts to go through enemies and hit multiple targets the second legendary aspect that's useful to use on this build is the prodigies aspect which states using a cooldown restores 10 mana and this aspect will allow you to gain mana a lot quicker so you can use charge bolts more often now i do want to mention that i only tempered my boots to gain additional movement movement speed because having movement speed on your boots and having movement speed on your amulet will make your leveling experience a lot quicker because you can move through areas a lot faster and if you check out my other pieces of gear you'll see that i didn't tamper with any gear or imprint any other legendary aspects these are the pieces of gear i just found so this build is so strong that you don't need to tamper any gear or imprint any other additional legendary aspects so as you can see this is my helmet this is my chest piece this is my gloves these are the pants i'm using these are the boots i'm using and for the weapon i did imprint print the piercing static legendary aspect and this is the amulet i'm using and the first ring i'm using i did imprint the prodigy legendary aspect and this is the second ring i'm using and this is the offhand i'm using and as you can see with all my pieces of gear i didn't do any tampering except for the movement speed and i only imprinted two legendary aspects and this build is still really strong that can easily destroy huge groups of enemies and bosses Okay, so next for the Paragon board. Now I am still leveling, so this Paragon board isn't fully complete. And with this Paragon board, I did focus on getting the important legendary nodes because I didn't level up any of my glyphs. So starting with the starter board, I'm using the Elemental List glyph. And because we have skills that deal fire, cold, and lightning damage, this glyph will greatly increase our damage. Then I headed up this way. And the next Paragon board I'm using is the Static Surge Paragon board. And the glyph I'm using is Flame Feeder. Now because I didn't level up my glyphs, I wasn't able to get the additional bonus. But once you do, this will greatly increase your damage to burn burning enemies but i did take the legendary node static surge which states after spending 97 mana your next cast of chain lightning or charge bolts makes enemies vulnerable for two seconds and restores 10 percent of your mana and because charge bolts is our main skill this legendary node is really strong then i headed left this way and the next paragon board i took is frigid fate and the glyph i'm using is exploit and like i mentioned before since i didn't level up my glyph i'm not getting the additional bonus but when you do get the additional bonus this glyph will greatly increase your damage when you damage vulnerable enemies but i did take the legendary 
legendary note frigid fate and this legendary note states you deal bonus damage to vulnerable enemies equal to 10 percent of the total amount of bonus damage with cold up to 30 percent now even though we're not taking any cold damage we're still getting a seven percent multiplicative damage increase as you can see right here current bonus seven percent so this legendary note is really strong even though we're not building up cold damage and every sorcerer build should just always take this legendary node okay so that's the paragon board layout i have as of right now but once i get to level 100 i'll have a level 70 to 100 leveling build with the full paragon board completed so definitely check that out but i have this current paragon board layout in a d4 build planner in the description below so next i'm going to share some tips to easily destroy the capstone dungeon boss to get to world tier 4. so first you do want to change some skill points on the skill tree and there's only a couple skill points to change around so you want to take out all the skill points out of fireball and once you do so you will have seven available skill points and with these skill points you want to put it into hydra so five points into hydra a point into enhance hydra and a point into summon hydra and hydra is a really strong skill to deal huge damage to a single target next you want to take out all the skill points from lightning spear and this will give you three additional skill points and with these skill points you want to put one point into protection to max it out and two points into potent warding to increase all your elemental resistance the main damage that the capstone dungeon boss to get to world tier 4 does is fire damage so getting high fire resistance will make it a lot easier to survive the capstone dungeon boss to get to world tier 4 and for your skills since we removed lightning spear you do want to use hydra and since we removed fireball you do want to switch out the fireball enchantment with the hydra enchantment and with these changes you will easily destroy the capstone dungeon boss to get to world tier 4. One other tip that you can do is drink a fire resistance elixir. Since the capstone dungeon boss does mainly fire damage, this elixir will greatly reduce the damage you take. And by doing all these changes, I was able to easily destroy the capstone dungeon boss to get to world tier 4 at level 48. And once you get to world tier 4, don't forget to change your build back to the original charge gold build. And I'll have this build layout in a d4 build planner in the description below. Okay, so thanks for checking out the best, strongest, and fastest charge bolts leveling build for the sorcerer from level 40 to 70. And I'll have a leveling build from level 70 to 100 next. So check out that video for a very easy leveling progression. And if you need a very strong and easy sorcerer leveling build from level 1 to 40, then definitely check out this video here. Hope this helps and more Diablo 4 videos to come. So stay tuned. And of course...